In this video, we are going to discuss about the new stream palette, and it is little bit same uh, as previous one. In previous uh, seventh video, uh, we we discuss about this uh, match pattern, and today we are going to discuss about this match regular expression. So it's uh, same as previous one, but some more advanced features. So this. Uh, Input string regular expression offset were there in the previous one, and this uh, four outputs are also there. But new things are added here that error in and error out. So in professional uh, use, we always use this match regular expression because it comes with uh, some advanced features, and uh, if any error comes, it can log. And it can be as a error count. So that's the new thing. And uh, another one is multi-line and ignore case. So as per the name, we directly understand that multi-line support is there or not. When this is false, then no multi-line. If it's true, yeah, we have some multi-lines in our input string. Okay, so it can fetch from all the lines. Then the ignore case. Now ignore case means that it is case sensitive or not. If it is false, then it's not case sensitive. If it is true, then we should take care of the uh, upper case, lower case. If it don't be tell then you will directly see here that uh, they explain everything here. So if multi-line is set, whether or not to treat the text in input string as a multi-line string, okay? So if we set, then it should treat it as a multi-line string. And uh, how you can do this, it is explained here very well. So next thing, another one is in our case, it specifies whether the string search is case sensitive or not ok so it falls it's by default the string search is case sensitive if you don't want to use these features and you don't need to uh, make any controller constant here by default they are false ok so error in describes error conditions that occur before the normal ok so in professional as i said we are uh, making one kind of uh, project okay in which we are using the different different palettes so like if you are uh, using one palette before and you are logging an error so that previous palettes error out will come to this error in okay so it can track the errors and in error out you will get some information about the errors on how it is failed, why it is failed like this ok so I am not going to show any example here because I already uh, gave one example in previous video so use that previous one add some changes and uh, use these functions and uh, if you have any question then, then you can ask me in comments and i will give you the answers okay so that's it for now and uh, we will see some more in next videos